Welcome to Learn with Lucky channel. I am Devanshi from year 5 and I am studying Kuala Malaysia. Today, in this video, I am going to tell you about the rabbits and elephants story. So, let's start our story. Once upon a time, there were all the birds, the animals and all the elephants. They all used to drink water and take a bath in the lake near the forest or in the forest. One mighty elephant was their king, named the king of elephants. So they all lived happily. But once it so happened that there was no rain for a whole year and a month. So the lake had no water and was very dried up. So some was very worried and the birds, some of them birds and animals died. This became very worried to the other elephants. So they decided to talk this matter to the king of elephants. So they went to the king of elephants and told him that Your majesty, know some birds and animals are dying because of water. Even we will die of thirst of water. We need to find water as soon as possible, your majesty. So the other elephants said to the king, and the king said, was very sad and then said, All the elephants go in different directions and search for a lake even if it's in other forests far away. I don't care, but we need water. So all the elephants did as he was told. So they went in different directions. Luckily for one elephant, he found in a very far away forest a lake. But it, if it never rains over there, still the lake will never dry up. So after hearing this news, the king of elephants was very overjoyed and very happy to hear the news. So they got ready the next day and he served and himself followed behind the king of elephants. So they, while they were going, they saw a herd of and a rabbit's settlement. But first, they had to cross the settlements of rabbits. But unfortunately for the rabbits, they did not notice the small rabbits. So the elephants stumped and killed thousands of rabbits under their heavy foot. So all the rabbits were very worried. On that same evening, the king of rabbits arranged a meeting. My dear rabbits, a herd of elephants came to our forest and killed thousands of our friends under their heavy foot. We need to find a solution to this problem and we need to stop the elephants from killing our friends and stepping under their heavy foot. So the king said like that and then one small rabbit said that your majesty if you send me as your messenger to the king of elephants I might be able to find a solution. So the king of rabbits thought for a while. Hmm, sounds like a good idea, he said. So he approved the idea and sent the small rabbit as his messenger. So the small rabbit, while going to his way into the lake, he saw all the elephants coming towards him. So he thought that, oh, there's no way I can get through them. I will die if they stamp me. So he decided to come into a rock and shouted, Oh king of elephants, oh king of elephants, can you hear me? He shouted to the king of elephants. So the king of elephants on hearing this voice, he stopped and turned back and replied, Who are you and from where did you even come? I did not even know you. So the small rabbit cleverly said, I am the messenger from the moon of God. He has sent me to give you a message. And then the king of Elven said, What message? I have no messages from anyone. And then the clever rabbit said, No, you have a message from the moon god. He is very angry with you because you have stumped thousands and millions of rabbits under your heavy food and also your herd of elephants. They also kill thousands and millions of rabbits. And then the elephant was shocked. huh? And so the rabbit continued his speech. And so the moon god told you to get away from this forest forever. The king of elephants 
elephants was very shameful and he looked down. Then he brought his head up and said to the rabbit, If you are to first take me to the moon of God, then I should ask him if he ever told that. And then the clever rabbit said, Okay, fine, I will take you. Come with me. So he said that. So both of them on that same evening, they went to the lake and they saw over there the reflection of the moon. But the elephant was very foolish and thought that it was the moon god. So he believed the rabbit and apologized and bowed to the moon god. But the rabbit giggled so much and then the rabbit said, Moon god, he has come to apologize you, said the rabbit to the moon god. But there was no moon god. Suddenly a huge storm rolled along them and disturbed the water in peace. So the moon and then the elephant, the king of elephants, thought that, Oh no, the moon god must be very angry. What should I do now? He was very worried and bowed again with panic. And then, being very frightened, he took back his head and went back to his place where his forest was. And then, all the animals lived happily ever after. And so, for the rabbits, they lived in their settlement happily forever after. So, the moral of the story is, wit can win over might over. So, this video is about the rabbits and elephants story. Bye friends! Today's video is finished. See you in the next video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.